Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, we're uh, in terms of my interviews today. We'll, we're uh, really running the gamut, uh, Robin. We got you, and then later on, I got Andrew Dice Clay. So, oh my uh, yeah, we're really uh, both ends of the spectrum today. You know what I'm Where saying? is he performing? Yeah. Oh, he's playing at the uh, Canyon Club. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, this Friday night. So. Right. I've never talked to him, but I understand. He, well, he's got to keep it clean for radio, but I understand yeah. his show is pretty. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> pretty vulgar. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Like I say, both ends of the spectrum today. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> From the brash to the soft-spoken, uh, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> well, you know, it's not uh, every day, and I'm sure you'll agree, that you get to see one of the 30, 30 greatest guitarists in the world uh, perform in your own hometown. And uh, we're not talking uh, Clapton or Jimmy Page or David Gilmore. We're talking about this man on our phone right here. It's Robin Ford. Hey, Robin. Hi, Perry. Nice to talk to you. Hey, man. Good to have you back on our phone. Robin named one of the 30 greatest guitarists uh, in the world and a man who has performed with some of the greats like George Harrison and Joni Mitchell and, and Miles Davis and countless others. And Robin just getting back to town uh, and doing some shows in Ojai. Uh, back from where? Europe, uh, Robin? Well, yes. Actually, I just spent the last five weeks in Italy, um, and it was kind of a working vacation. I worked only one day a week. And the rest of the time, I uh, ate pasta. <laughs> <laughs> nice, huh? <laughs> yeah. Boy, good work if you can get it, huh? It's a, it's a pretty special culture over there. Do you pick up a smattering of the languages when you travel abroad, Robin? Well, yes. I, I have definitely you know, made an effort you know, to, to study French and, uh, and, and Italian. And, I mean, I've not gotten very far with it, but I, I try to you know, like announce my shows uh, in the... You know, in France, in Italy, and Germany, I, I've learned to be able to announce my shows in the in the language there. Well, that's a good place to start, I suppose. Yeah, huh? you know, introduce the band, yeah. and the next song comes from the new CD. You know, that yeah. kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Well, good to have you back uh, here on the other side of the pond. Uh, Robin is a five-time Grammy nominee and actually doing some shows coming up here in the next few days in Ohio. Tell us about those performances you have on tap, uh, Robin. Well, this is. Uh, kind of the maiden voyage of something I've been working towards, I should say thinking about and, and wanting to do for some time. Uh, primarily, it's a duet with me and percussion. Uh, Tos Panos is my drummer and initially was going to do these dates, and then he wound up being unavailable. So Gary Novak is going to play uh, the Ojai shows. Um, but uh, I've been wanting to start bringing acoustic guitar into my, my thing a little bit more, you know? and um, sit down, sing songs, and, uh, and have a vibe that, you know, can be just sort of more, I mean, intimate is, is the word, and um, kind of, um, uh, I, I think a little bit more, uh, I'm having a hard time finding the word, but um, certainly different for me. Well, that is a different format because usually you appear with with a band or in a trio, right? And so, uh, yeah, my trio has really been my thing for some time now, and you know, it's basically pretty high powered blues, rock, R and B, with a lot of improvisation. But uh, after a while, man, <laughs> you know, it's just uh, you know, it's something that I really almost need. You know, is to kind of bring things down volume wise and. Uh, play on a level that's just, uh, again, I'm having a hard time finding the word, but, you know, intimate certainly is the uh, is a description of the situation. Mm. Just less bombastic and, and a little more uh, thoughtful. <laughs> well, you know, as they say, uh, less, less is more sometimes, and folks listening to my show certainly know that uh, that's less is, well, it's the only way I know how to do this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Less bombastic. <laughs> I never would uh, call Robin bombastic. I just no. Uh, yeah. I, again, I have a very hard time finding the right words here because, yeah, even the electric trio we have a you know a, it's a very uh, dynamic. You know, we go from very soft to very loud and everything in between. But the acoustic thing, you know, it just creates a different environment, kind of a more you know living room kind of environment. You know, it's almost going beyond unplugged. You know. A well, it's, it is unplugged. Yeah. <laughs> I will play uh, some electric guitar as well. And, 
Uh, also, on this particular, these, these two shows here in Ojai, we have Russell Ferrante, the um, keyboard player from the group Yellow Jackets, which... Well, oh, that's your group. It was. Yeah. I, I started the band initially and then left to kind of do my own thing, you know, R&B and blues. You know, they're a jazz group. Uh, I think at, by this point, they might be the longest-lived band <laughs> <laughs> in terms of, you know, how many years that group has continued to stay together and grow, kind of like the Crusaders were at one time, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, when you talk about an intimate intimate kind of performance, I suppose you have chosen an intimate kind of venue for yeah. these uh, two dates, Robin. And, and where will you guys be playing? We're going to be at uh, Theater 150 in Ojai. And I don't know if you have the information to let people know how to get tickets, but I could give it to you. Yeah, do it, man. Tickets. Tickets with Robin. For Robin. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Theater 150 in Ojai, uh, it's at 316 East Matillaha, which is M-A-T-I-L-I-J-A, Matillaha Street. And for tickets, you can call 805-646-4300, uh, or you can also go online, theater150.org slash. I guess the, you need a slash at the end of org. Yeah, I don't know. Well, try it. <laughs> you can try it both ways. Yeah, try it both ways. Right. www.theater150.org. All right. Slash, Wednesday. <laughs> maybe. And uh, we're doing two nights, June 10th and June 11th. The show is at 7 p.m., and the opening act uh, is my wife, Ann Carey Ford. Oh, boy, you got to mention that, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's uh, a singer uh, and pianist, uh, Michelle Browerman. Um, and they will open the show. So uh, it's just going to be a really beautiful night of music. Her thing is more kind of theater music and uh, rather theatrical, rather dramatic, and uh, also beautiful. So uh, it's going to be a great evening of music. I'm personally really looking forward to it. And as I say, this is something I've been trying to, to get up and going for some time now. And we're doing five shows in the month of June, and then I'm planning on taking this thing to Europe. Back to Europe. Come on, Robin. No, I like it over there. The pasta's better. <laughs> well, and our thanks to uh, Anne, too, for uh, hooking us back up with Robin Ford. And, boy, it's, you know, like I said, it's a great chance to see one of the greatest guitarists around, Robin Ford, and in a very uh, up-close and personal kind of setting and in the infancy stages of something that Robin is trying, this new duet thing at uh, Theater 150 in Ojai on the 10th and 11th. Robin, thanks for uh, chatting with us here on the phone, and best of luck with that uh, endeavor. And, and come back from Europe soon. The pasta ain't that great, man. Thank you very much, Perry. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, Robin, hold on, dude. Hold on. Robin, you